Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up while you're watching today. Today we're doing a comics unboxing. This is actually part two of a pretty big purchase that Keith and I did. If you've been following along, in 2024 we are trying new things. One of those new things we decided to adventure in is comics. So just to get our feet wet at first, we ordered a mystery box of 20 comics from Goodwill Blue Box. And we were so happy with that box and we had extra bags and boards. We decided to go ahead and purchase 80 more comics and see what happens. If we're happy with these, we'll go ahead and get more. So their boxes of comics on Goodwill Blue Box are $19.99 and you get 20 comics and it's $7 shipping. And that doesn't matter how many you buy, you don't get a break. So if you buy four, you pay $28 shipping. So we paid $107.96 for 80 comics because that's four sets of their 20. Um, I opened two of the sets in the last video and we're going to go ahead and do the last two here. So that's 40 comics. The way they shipped them, they did put our entire order in one box. But each set of 20 that we purchased was put individually into these poly bags. If you watched me struggle in part one, opening these bags, you can see that for this video, we've already pre-opened them. So it's a little bit easier and you don't have to watch me struggle. I am a whole struggle bus by myself and I don't edit. So apologies. <laughs> Red line. This is... A comic book. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't see a date. This is a pretty cool cover. And it looks zombie-ish. I'm not familiar with this one of the story myself. We've got America's... <laughs> this reminds me of the TV show. America's Got Talent. This is America Has Powers. Um, I like the back. This advertisement on the back. It's for non-humans. Look at that creepy is that a robot doll. I don't know what that is. It's creepy. Um, the dates on this are 1992 to 2012. We've got Asylum. This one's pretty cool. Um, creepy. If you like creepy stuff, which you all know I do. X-23. I like to see the Marvel comics. I personally also enjoy DC. I'm what they call a all-inclusive nerd. I guess we're kind of rare, but I like DC and Marvel. I like Star Wars and Star Trek and Doctor Who. I like it all. I'm pretty all-inclusive of my horror genres that I enjoy as well. I just like entertainment. And it's all pretty good. This is called Bone. I got a couple of those. So what um, you can do when you get two that are similar in the same series, comp them. And if, you know, they're not worth $200 a piece or they're not anything spectacularly special, sometimes you can lot them together and sell them. Um, it's kind of like a choice, though, because you have to think like a seller. And there may be a seller that needs a couple of the volumes to fill out their collection. And there may be somebody looking for just this one. So it's a choice you have to make based on the comps. And if you want to put them together, um, you may risk losing someone who's just looking for one. But you might sell them. I guess it's kind of that way with plush and other items as well. And books and anything you can sell like that. This is from the pages of Hellboy. I love Hellboy. I like the comics. I like the movies. It's just interesting. He's got a good story. Marvel Comics. <laughs> Sex, lies, and mutual funds of the yippies from hell. <laughs> oh, does that make me giggle. Does that make me giggle. I haven't heard the word yuppie since I read American Psycho. Um, I had to see the back. They're moping but coping with the recession. 
They've gotten married, they've moved into our neighborhoods, and now they're spawning more and more of their kind. This is funny. This is funny. You can say. That's pretty interesting. Well, I'm just going to show you the cover. I'm not going to read you the name. Just in case anybody has small kids in the room or I get demonetized. You can read that for yourself. X23. We had a couple of these in the last video. X-Men Gold. X-23. This has a bonus digital edition, which I bet it doesn't have anymore because they're not new. Um, 1989 Nexus. Look at this fish's face. <laughs> oh, these are so fun. Comics are fun. This is Conan the Sumerian, not Conan the Barbarian. I'll show you. It's looking for a date. Here's another one of those. Oh, we got we got a couple of these. Now, see if you get that many, that may be something you might want a lot of. But I'll let Keith make those decisions. These are for him. When we decided that we were going to branch out and try new things in 24, I don't know why I just fan a white the cover of this. Um, my choice was jewelry, and he. Shows comics 1995 and so I'll show them to you guys and I'll go through them and look at them and geek out over them and be a little nerd but he'll photograph and comp and list and everything um 1995 Batman this one looks a little see so when you get this is a little warped I don't know if you can see it. it's got like water damage you can still list them, but you have to disclose that and get really good pictures of the damage, and you have to lower your price. It has to reflect the damage. So, like, a serious collector is not going to want this, but someone who may be buying uh, comic books for their grandson might. Someone who just wants to read this might. So, we don't not list them if they're damaged you just have to reflect it in the price and you have to make sure you get good pictures and just know you know like the serious collectors aren't going to buy that but someone might buy a bunch of comics for their grandson or their kids or whatever granddaughter even i don't know why i just selectively said grandson i write comics all my life uh, i don't see a date on but this but this is little Ox versus Marvel. Next we have Tag from 2006. And on the back we have an advertisement for the disease is the cure in the Savage Brothers. Avengers Everyday Heroes. This is from 2022. Um, sponsored by Pfeiffer. Can we tell this is post-COVID? That's pretty neat. Um, definitely telling of the times. That's kind of another thing I really like about comics and looking at the back of them. You can definitely tell what time frame, what was going on in the world just by looking at your comics and the back of the, the advertisements on them and stuff. This is a book, not a comic, but I... This is the house that the monsters built. And this fun version of This is the House that Jack built, a vampire, a ghost, a zombie, a mummy, and more, all have spooky fun in the house that monsters build. How cute is this? I want to see the copyright date because I feel like I read this as a kid. Text by in 2016. So no, there must have been some other book similar maybe to this. It's a scholastic book, so I mean, chances are at the Scholastic Fair at school, I bought plenty of Halloween books when I was a kid. Um, I love to read, even as a small child. My love of reading has been my entire life, and I've always loved comic books, comic characters. 
but I used to buy. This was my pre-horror when I was like in first grade. This was my pre-Stephen King. Um, this is really cute. I don't know what it would sell for, but what a what a pleasant surprise for someone like me to find something like this. That's so nostalgic. We have a Judge Child book too. So um, this is Chronicles of Judge Dread. It's more of a graphic novel. It's got thicker covers on the front, and it's thicker and has this whole story in it. There was another one of these in the um, other pack, the last video. Well, that's cool. All right, let's put these aside and pull over the last bag of 20. And then get these to feet so we can start getting them photographed and getting them listed. All right, this is the New World Part 1 of the DC Universe Rebirth Superman Action Comics 2017. This is Superman Action Comics with no discernible date that I can see right off the end. This one as well. Home of the best cartoons. Boomerang. We got quite a few of these Superman Action Comics. And now we have a Captain America Fear Him. You gotta be dramatic when you read some of these that folks. It's fun. Here's another one of the Captain Americas. This is a game of you, the Sandman. This is neat. Look at that cover. Hey guys, saucer country. <laughs> it reminds me of the ones the aliens from Mars attacks, doesn't it? Batman on the back. Um, April 2013 is when this was. And another saucer country. So this looks like an alien series. This is pretty cool. That looks like Mothman, actually. Here's another one. Ooh, and another one. Ooh, and another one with a rodent face. <laughs> I get so excited when I see rodents. Is that a squirrel? Oh, I love rodents. The Amazing Spider-Man 1. This is oversized and action-packed. Get excited. Um, This is... I don't see a year... But it has the bonus digital edition, which, you know, it's not going to have because the code will probably already be redeemed. But that's what the digital stuff looks like. And that's got to be a little bit newer because I don't think they had digital stuff in 1980. Um, this is the most amazing Heroes of Two Worlds Spider-Man. It also has a directly printed on the cover to Cat's comic book store. So I don't know if that's going to be worth anything or make it not. We'll have to research. Superior Iron Man. Not just Iron Man, but Superior Iron Man. We have number one and two of those. We've got Deadpool. I love Deadpool. And I love Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool because, man, it's like he was born to play that part. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to show you because I have no depth perception. This is digital in it as well. Amazing X-Men Family Feud. This one, I don't see a date right on the front. has to be a little bit newer because there is a little advertisement for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. here. Which I think I remember starting watching and... Maybe 2012, 2011. And that has a digital edition as well. So does this. This is the Amazing Spider-Man. And there's an advertisement for video game in 2016. Another Spider-Man. 
Marvel Comics presents Wolverine, Daredevil, Vengeance, and Hitboy. All in the same comic. Be still my beating heart. Um, early April, I don't see in a year. This is from 2022. X-Men Renegades. This is a Marvel one-shot. It's pretty neat. Lenore. This one's cute. I've looked through it before. It's it's cute. You guys want a sneak peek of it? It's a little bit like a little horror comic. We're going to have to replace this bag anyway. It's kind of yellowed. Some of these that come with the bags and boards we can just use, but some of the bags are kind of like yellowed from age and the boards to get less stiff with age. This is really a cute comic though. See if I can find some good examples of like just what goes on in here. I like it. I've looked through it before. Read it. The Chronicles of Judge Dredd, another graphic novel of Judge Dredd. That's neat. So we got three of those total in the whole purchase. So it'll be interesting to see what these go for. And like I said, if these turn out to be lucrative and worthwhile we'll buy more and if not we'll try to find a different source but i mean so far so good um you're getting 20 comics for 20 bucks plus shipping so it's a little over a dollar a comic i mean even if you're selling them for 12 bucks you're making just roughly five bucks which isn't that great but that's five times your money and so far we've discovered that each batch has the couple that are worth a lot of money. My friends that buy these say the same thing. You'll usually find a couple of really good ones that will pay for the whole box. And then everything else is just icing on the cake. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. I'll have the first part of this pop up at the end. So you can watch that if you haven't and see the entire purchase of 80 Comics. Until next time, go be productive, go make some money, and as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.